steam-powered photo excursions where trains are posed for photographers is quite popular throughout the railfan community. But if you see a steam-powered revenue freight to the 21st century, you might want to grab your camera and get trackside. Welcome to Western Oregon's Albany and Eastern Railroad. The Albany and Eastern is a short line primarily serving the communities of Lebanon and Albany, with connections to both Union Pacific and BNSF. It primarily serves the timber and agricultural industries on tracks that were first spiked down in 1880. Along with the freight business, the Albany and Eastern also run special excursions, like the Candy Can Express, held in early December as a way to give back to the community. In recent years, that train has been pulled by the Santa Maria Valley No. 205, a Baldwin 262 originally built in 1924 for the San Joaquin and Eastern Railroad in California. Later, it worked for the Santa Maria Valley until it was retired in 1950. The 205 was lovingly restored to its current condition in Independence, Oregon, and sold to the Albany and Eastern in 2021. During the decades-long restoration, the engine was given the name Porky, which explains the little pig who sits on top 205's headlight. Of all who ride the Santa Am excursion trains, it is Porky who has the best seat in the house. On July 3, 2023, the 205 was called on for an unusual task over some rare mileage, pulling three boxcars north over the Mill City branch. History was in the making on this sunny morning in July. For the first time in 73 years, the Santa Maria Valley No. 205 was earning its keep, hauling revenue freight for the railroad. These boxcars were picked up at A&E's yard in Lebanon and are being taken to a siding in the small town of Lyons, around 30 miles to the east on the railroad timetable. The bay window caboose puts a nice period on the end of the train. For those of us who grew up with the Southern Pacific, it invokes fond memories of years past. The Mill City branch was originally the eastern portion of the Oregon Pacific Railroad, which ran from Yaquina near the Oregon coast to Idana in the foothills of the Cascades. As the train crosses the Thomas River, we note that track speed is reduced to 10 miles per hour for the rest of the trip to Mill City.
at Shelburne, we find a stub track with rail that was forged in November of 87. That's 1887, dating this old 60-pound rail to the original Oregon Pacific. The scenery changes from farmland to forest as the Mill City Branch turns east along the North Saniam River. A water truck follows the steam special as an added precaution on this warm summer day. At milepost 719.3, we find the small town of Lyons. The 205 blows for the crossing of Highway 226 before stopping to take on water and switch its train.
Lyons has an 874-foot siding where cars are spotted en route to the Frank Mill in Mill City. The three box cars will be left here and a center beam will be picked up for the mill. But first, the thirsty steam engine gets a drink. The 205 backs to its train. The crew will drop the caboose, grab two center beams out of the siding, then spot the three box cars and one of the center beams in the siding before continuing to the end of track at Mill City, just six miles away. The mundane task of switching cars becomes much more interesting with steam. It is a taste of railroading the way it used to be.
With the switching complete, the 205 continues east with one center beam for Frank. The eastern end of the Mill City branch is mile post 725.8. This is where we find the Frank Lumber Company, a family business nestled in the Santa Ann River Canyon. The mill got its start in 1936 and continues to play a vital role in the local economy. Aiding to the mill's success is the rail service provided by the Albany and Eastern, with help today from a little steam locomotive named Porky. We hope to visit this amazing little branch line in Western Oregon again sometime. But until then, thanks for watching.